Hello, everybody. Welcome to Losers Round for the monthly checkup. It's commentary time. This is Leviticus, and I have a special guest here on the mic with me, making his monthly checkup debut. But I'm sure he needs no introduction. He is one of the prolific voices of Dr. Mario, and I'm sure you all know and love him. It's JB Henry. JB, how you doing? Hey, good evening, Lev. I'm doing great. Uh, just uh, decided to uh, pop by here and call some matches. I haven't called some verses in a while, and then I, I, I felt the need. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here. We're uh, super lucky to have you. Thank you so much uh, for coming in and uh, sharing the booth with me. I had a lot of fun when last year in Columbus commentating with you, so I, I couldn't oh, yeah. uh, couldn't give up the chance to do it again. So uh, I'm going to get these guys uh, going. Oh, whoops. No, that's... Uh, <laughs> you're not uh, in this match here. Uh, <laughs> that would be uh, Perula on the left and Luke on the right. This, uh, I would say, given their uh, the history of their, uh, their games in the monthly... Um, you, I would say that this is a pretty high-profile matchup, even though we find ourselves in the loser's bracket. There's been some significant upsets in this tournament, lots of big names uh, and that we might see a bit later. Um, but uh, both of these players have, have a pretty good history. Uh, Luke, uh, most probably known for making some big upsets against Snipe, one of uh, the best players in the world, I would say, especially right now. Yeah, absolutely. And I recall Luke making a pretty good run into the... Uh drmc bracket out in columbus so looking forward to this match very double heavy top board to start and we've got yellow red attacks on both sides uh, looks like we've got a nice combo from luke and uh, luke currently down to 50 viruses yep luke taking an early lead in terms of board health perula finding herself with a bit of a well a bit of a higher stack but she's working well to bring that down now uh, finding a combo to bring down the columns six and seven here yeah, and a much cleaner, as far as going down into the board, it looks like Perula does have the advantage here. Uh, although the virus advantage does go to Luke. Luke playing a much cleaner board. He is actually starting to delve down uh, into columns three and four. Uh, and again, with all these doubles, you really suspect you're going to see a lot of combo gain, low elevation drops, and really more of an urge, I would feel, to just clear the board outright instead of topping out. Absolutely. Uh... It looks like Luke is still maintaining his uh, his board health advantage, but Perula, uh, unfortunately, having to deal with uh, some buildup in the left and the right sides of the board here, um, looking for any sort of combo to maybe put the pressure on Luke and take the advantage back. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, Perula really needed to take care of those yellow viruses up top. You don't want to keep that board elevation high, especially in a versus environment where there's going to be stuff raining down on you constantly. Uh, good combo here, or yeah, that was a combo from Luke, and Luke's going to fire off another combo, and it uh, looks like I've lost the feed here. Nope, but that's I'll okay. Kinda... <laughs> You'll have a back in just a moment there. Sorry about that. No worries, no worries. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, a nice T into a double. That's going to be a huge four combo there. And now we're starting to see it build up on the Luke side. Luke really needing, uh, the, looks like he may be focusing that yellow. Uh, could be uh, looking for a double drop here. And it looks like that is what he's signaling. And he is going to get it and it gets a big triple. But uh, Lev, this is uh, kind of dire on Luke. Oh, side. no. Yes, very dire, and that double blue is not helping things. He had the opportunity to bring the stack down. I think he will take it now, but that was very dangerous for a second. Any stray garbage might have topped him out, but now he has a clear center, and uh, he's uh, things have really evened out here, even in virus count, and honestly, even in board health, I would say. Perla's really done a good job of taking the momentum back. Yeah, Luke here is going to have this drop combo, and he's going to get three more coming down on Perula's side. Perula has a lot of mixture of viruses. It's a bit, or pill fragments rather. It's a big mishmash, uh, but can easily work things out here. Luke is playing a bit of a cleaner board. Really, column eight, the only problem point for him. And uh, Luke is going to drop down, get this uh, short stack, and then get a double off the board. Excuse me. And uh, he is down to 21, uh, but playing a much cleaner board. Absolutely. Perula's board starting to look much messier here. Uh, all of a sudden, her 6th and 7th columns just filled completely up, and I'm not even sure exactly how that happened. Um, she uh, is going to need to somehow take this down and, and not uh, relent on combos at the same time. This is uh, starting to look like Luke's pulling ahead here, at least in terms of board health. Mm -hmm. 
and Perula uh, had an opportunity to open up column three and elected not to, is setting up the combos, and that's always the delicate balance you have in versus play is, are you going for virus clears, are you going for setups, and especially when real estate is at such a premium in a versus match, you have so much more going on rather than just you versus the, the, the viruses in the board. Uh, you, you've got you've got the pill fragments coming down, and we're starting to see here that uh, Luke is down to his final four, and he's this is a good opportunity for him. He's very shielded unless a fragment comes in on column seven. He can underclear the rest of this board and take the W. Uh, yep. Uh, at this point, uh, Luke has a pretty simple end game from here. Um, just needing two more viruses to go, and uh, pretty much in a spot where no garbage can really contest him. Uh, he only needs one more blue now at this point, and uh, if Rula doesn't get some column seven garbage, I don't think she's going to uh, have, have any chance of coming back here, but he will find the blue and he will take game one. Absolutely uh, well done there by Luke. Perula really just got handcuffed, and when you start getting that garbage piling up and piling up, it, it can be so hard to recover. Uh, starting game number two here, as uh, we already have an early combo from Peru, or rather Luke, and Peru is going to get a uh, little bit of charity clear there. Uh, 51 to 57 here, and uh, it's starting to stack up early here for Luke. Absolutely, there was some early column five garbage that's now kind of moved its way over to column six that he's going to have to address, and he's risking it all, stacking it up high, and he deletes off the top to save himself. But he's still tie up in the center, and meanwhile Perula is running her way down the board here. Perula is going to get, oh, going to send it right back. Uh, real rough when that happens, but the, the, for the most part, those columns are randomized unless you get that triple or quad combo, you know you're going to get something in columns four and five, and these players are know that, and they are absolutely going to gun for three, four stack combos just to really hamper their opponent. All right, yeah, and looks like Luke was able to finally break out of that uh, that dangerous looking opening, and uh, now uh, we're moving into the mid game here, 37, uh, 35 to 44 in favor of Perula, but board health I would say is just about even, dealing with the, a bit of a spire in the center is Perula, but uh, definitely has some setups here to bring these down. As long as you can bring things down with a combo, um, it's never too dangerous, and, and these players are masters at doing that. Absolutely, the combo game is so much more important on the versus side uh, than it is on the speed side. You need to, you need to keep getting those combos to survive. Luke's gonna get a nice sweet tee, and then uh, start dropping the stack down, and uh, is gonna get the short stack. Uh, gets has setups ready to go, and a bit of a triple there for Perula. Uh, is going to start uh, stacking the board higher a bit for Luke. Uh, looking on Perula's board, Perula is uh, going to drop a short stack. It's going to bring a little bit more down, but that horizontal is protected in uh, column five now. And with this blue, that's going to be a uh, triple combo for Luke. And that is going to drop uh, one, three, and five onto Perula's board. Mm -hmm. Both players sort of hovering at about the same height as they have been for the last uh, about minute or so. Um, just racking up the combos, keeping the pressure on each other. Neither player really able to make any sort of forward progress here. But uh, that might change in a moment uh, with some nice combo to bring down column one for Perula. Um, where meanwhile Luke is just trying to find the pills that he needs to knock down his setups and he will do so in column eight. That was a nice tight triple there. Uh, it is going to clear off column five for Perula. Uh, which is, you know, you love seeing those things if, if you have those attacks coming your way, but now Luke with another triple is going to clear even more off. Peru is going to drop down some blues. Where are these going to go? Oh, that yellow in column four could be trouble. Ooh, another one, the stun lock coming, and uh, Luke's able to wind things down and clears that column four. That was looking a little dangerous there for a minute. <laughs> did not That danger did not last very long, and he got several combos on the way to safety there. Both players uh, still keeping things very even. No one has really made uh, a huge lead here or anything like that. Um, about the same in board health, about the same in, in virus count. Uh, neither player really pulling ahead here. This is uh, this has been going on for quite some time as well. So I'm really curious to see who's going to effectively break serve here. Yeah, this is. It's been definitely just a shoving match so far. I would say Luke here is starting to pull off an attack here, uh, and Perula is going to get a uh, nice clear there, getting a triple down the line here. These players just really seem to be making a combo or two or three and then trying to just get that board elevation down overall. 
Uh, we, we saw Perula's board was looking real rough. Now it's looking real good here. Uh, and it, with that combo, it's going to interrupt just a little bit of what Luke is doing. Luke's going to drill down and uh, yellow that yellow-blue, not the best pill combination he wanted, but now really lowering that overall elevation. And Lev, even, even with this mis mishmash of uh, garbage just on that right side, it's still not a terrible board for Luke. No, certainly not. Uh, he definitely is going to have some setups to take down, and such as this triple that we're seeing right now. Uh, definitely has some horizontal opportunities to deal with his edges. Um, and meanwhile, Perula's got a bit of a build up in the center. She will find a double, but uh, that shape in that columns three and four is very ugly looking. It now presents a bit of a horizontal opportunity, but there's not really enough elevation in the adjacent columns to really get it. She's just going to take it down vertically. Uh, and now we see a similar situation happening in the center of Luke's board, but hopefully uh, he is going to get uh, some combos here and he's going to bring that down as well. It's just back and forth between these two. It absolutely is. They're just trying to make make a couple of viruses go off the board and then just resume attacks here. Uh, again, just a shoving match. We're going to get a triple here from Luke. And Luke earlier was playing with fire. He had a nearly full column four, but managed to uh, build it down with a couple of vertical clears. Uh, and here he goes again with a nice combo, double blue combo. That's going to, uh, or rather, that's four combo there. So that's going to put four right down the pipe there for Perula. But it is, the virus count is basically even. Uh, but now it's that opened up a little bit here for Luke, a five virus lead. And Luke has a horizontal here. And he's starting to shield uh, parts of his board, it looks like. Definitely trying to uh, shield columns one and two. Uh, maybe going horizontal on that blue, going to get that nice vertical clear and then a horizontal down to seven here. So Luke uh, really opening up a lead here and uh, Lev, it looks like if Perula can get stuff going on that right side, we could see some big combos. Mm -hmm. I think it's safe to say that Luke is firmly into his end game here, but uh, there's a lot of setups on Perula's side and if she can stun lock them together, uh, she can clear into her end game and, and put a lot of pressure back on Luke. She, it's definitely not out of reach yet. Absolutely, and I think it's it's really just a big red rush here, and there we go. We're starting to see uh, Perula address that right side. Luke down to his final three viruses here. He's going to have to get creative here. Uh, he's got the he's got the blue combo, and he's definitely going to take it. And with the drop, he'll have another blue horizontal set up. But uh, that yellow, that final yellow is going to be the big problem. Uh, we'll see what uh, he decides to do. He is going to, in fact, go vertical with it. No, he is going to go horizontal. And uh, Perula, with some opportune garbage, is just going to slow down Luke just a touch here. Uh, Perula's board down to her final 10, and a triple is going to just continue to plug the works here for uh, Luke. He is at that one final virus, but there is a lot of stuff on top of it. Yep, if she can continue getting that column 5 garbage, then she definitely could make a comeback. This is high speed where things uh, can get start getting really fast and boards that looked a little s more simple might not be so simple anymore. But uh, Luke is getting some opportune pieces to clear the garbage away. Uh, he's uh, going to get a combo here to expose that yellow and uh, if it doesn't get covered up again soon, uh, then this might be, this might be over in, in uh, game two here. Perua uh, really trying to slow down uh, Luke here. Luke, though, just needs to combo out looking for that final red. And there's a bit of a stun lock. Can, can Perula take advantage of it? It doesn't look like it is no. that final stack of three drops down, and we have a 2 nothing match. Yep, that'll be 2-0 for Luke. Perula will need to complete the reverse sweep here if she wants to continue. She's fighting for her tournament life at this point. Absolutely. Double elimination. We are in the loser's bracket, so you, you're out here, you're out. Uh, good opening boards for both players. A lot of doubles, especially of the horizontal variety in the center of the board. Uh, these players, uh, will they see that, or will they elect to go vertical? You tend to see a lot more vertical clears unless you're comboing than a lot of players. I've noticed love comboing straight down to that horizontal. A quad coming down as Perula trying to maintain her tournament life here. Uh, both players very high up on uh, their center column, so a big combo here can really, really end the game for somebody. And it is 50 to 51 as Perula looking for that nice L. Yeah, getting another quad. That's going to slow down Luke for a little bit here. 
Uh, but, but that was really more helpful than anything as Luke uh, gets the double combo, sets up the blue, now has a blue-red set up, and uh, is going to get a charity clear from Perula down to 48 viruses as Luke. Very, very close here as we're in game three. Mm -hmm, but this scrubbage is looking good. Uh, well, not not for Luke, obviously, on his side, uh, but it is a good sign for Perula. She's uh, starting, this is probably the first game where she's taken an early advantage, so hopefully she can convert that into, uh, into getting on the board here. Absolutely, and with these doubles, you know, you, there's so much more opportunity for easier combos. You need less viruses around those, or pills around those viruses to clear those doubles. And a uh, nice combo here from Perula, gonna rain down in two and six. And uh, a combo here from Luke's gonna rain down some blue and red, or rather some red and yellow. Big combo there, it's basically blocking off seven and eight, which is gonna be really tough. Those wing columns getting blocked is always just, uh, it's gotta make you change whatever plans you have, and usually you end up under clearing or having to find some horizontal creativity. And just as soon as she had an advantage, suddenly it looks like Luke has turned the tables around, just keeping the pressure on, clearing up the, the positions that he's been put in, uh, and uh, suddenly Perula finds herself about halfway up the board. We are even in virus 37 to 37. Honestly, things are more even than anything, but uh, if any advantage Perula has, I think, uh, has been brought to parity at this point. It has. Perula's got a very dire situation, though, but a good horizontal opportunity if that yellow... Uh, can be exposed. Now that's been taken away with that double blue plop down where it is. Uh, 37 to 33 here, Luke playing in, in almost an immaculately clean board right now. Uh, he's going to get another combo, has a horizontal setup, but that combo is going to block it. Uh, so it's going to be a forced red vertical clear. Uh, Luke is still setting things up here. And oh, going to get a nice little uh, piece of charity there from Perula and uh, gets that nice triple. Love the, I love seeing that. Uh, just, you know, getting two more off the one clear. And it is 35 to 27 here as Luke still playing a pretty strong game on his side. Absolutely, but Perula has really begun picking up the pace in her play, really slamming the pills down now. She knows the pressure's on. She knows she has to pick things up to get to the, uh, to get the finish line here in time. And a good double combo from Perula is going to drop two reds down. But again, just unfortunate with the com with the uh, garbage falling down is just offering more and more clears. 33 to 22 here as uh, the board elevation definitely in favor of uh, Luke here. Uh, and another another generos or another piece of generosity. Words are hard uh, as uh, <laughs> it is 29 to 22 here and. Uh, Perula is either interrupting combo setups or just getting clears for Luke with this, these garbage plays. It's just hilarious to watch. Absolutely. She's, uh, I think, maybe starting to fumble a little bit under the speed. This is the first month that we've been playing on high speed. While I'm sure she's no stranger to it, in a tournament setting, it may not be something she's fully used to, uh, as she's probably more acclimatized to medium. So maybe that's part of uh, what we're seeing. But uh, if she has stumbled, it hasn't been for long. She's, she's really keeping pace here now in this game three. And another two viruses uh, coming from that Perula garbage. Uh, 25 to 20 here. Uh, but Luke is starting to feel a little bit of the stunlock as Perula is just fighting back. You're going to drop another two down. And Lev, when you get later into these boards, that stunlock is so important. Earlier in the game, there is going to be, you can definitely stack those combos, but there's less room for the that garbage to fall. When you get into this mid and late game situation, the more those fall down, the more time you're buying for yourself. And uh, now it looks as if almost Perula's... Uh starting to get a lead once again she's just about in her end game here still 19 viruses to go but she has reached the bottom of the board at this point so if, if she, as long as uh, errant garbage doesn't thwart her i think she is in a very good position here as luke is now finding himself with not a lot of yellow access and very far up the board it's going to be difficult to come back from this yeah perula right now just chipping away with these double combos uh, really just wasting the time here of Luke as the speed might be starting to get to Luke. Luke's not finding any sort of combos. He's just in survival mode right now. He's mm -hmm. going to get that horizontal, but here more combos from Perula, and it looks like we might have a forced top out here. Oh yeah, she's Luke not backing continuing down. Continuing to survive. 
he's going to get a combo, or he's going to get that horizontal drop, but again, there's really nothing combo-wise. He's just going to have to get fortuitous RNG, getting another horizontal clear, and that's a vertical clear for free, and now it may be game, and it is. <laughs> wow. And Perula's on the board in game three. Wow. Uh, she was playing lights out, especially at the end there. We're going to go in game four here and see if she can keep this up in this opening. Yeah, Perula was just absolutely lights out there in that end game and decided, you know what, I'm just taking him out here. Uh, but here comes Luke. Luke has already got some uh, low drop clears and uh, the garbage is already starting to hamper plans as uh, that red garbage in column four are going to be tough to recover from from Luke. He's probably going to be, if I'm Luke here, I'm probably looking at that horizontal double clear, and that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, there will be a little bit of garbage, but he's definitely focusing on elevate, lowering that board elevation. And that's really what you have to do early on, is just get some viruses off the board, try to open up the space a little bit. But at the same time, you kind of have to have your head on a swivel, because you know you're going to be getting some sort of garbage early on. I think and Pearl is going to be in trouble very it. soon here. She's battling to find anything. She does have some setups. She's going to bring down column three, open up a little more space. But now uh, her time is, is slowly running out here. She's going to have to make some more space here uh, if she wants to survive. But uh, she just did not get enough combos in that early game. But she's doing her best to make up for it now. Yeah, but leaving three stacks just this high up and then closing them off is just really brutal. Uh, a yellow here would be huge, and we're going to get a yellow. This is a huge clear. That's going to open up a lot of that right side. And while Luke is just being persistent with these clears, uh, Perula keeping her tournament hopes alive here. Uh, going to drop down another combo, but it's going to be returned right back from Luke as uh, that vertical gets cleared and replaced with some yellow garbage. These players both playing high elevation, uh, both very, very much on the attack here uh, with 44 and 36 remaining. It is uh, really anybody's game here, but we, we had a couple of just uppercuts uh, early on here, but now it looks like these players have calmed down and are uh, starting to address the viruses. Mm. Looks like Perula is uh, making her way out of that really dangerous situation. That was some incredible survival on her part to keep her hopes alive. Uh, and Luke, uh, honestly, is not looking as far ahead as you would have expected, given the, the opening that Perula had. Wow, playing really high at the top of the board to liberate column two for herself. That was incredible. She's really opening space. She's made, taking the risky moves she needs to take uh, to make the, this comeback after a slow start in the beginning of this game. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a nice little combo here. You're going to chip away, but Luke dropping four pieces of garbage, really interrupting that second column. And when the speed starts getting this high, those high elevation drop clears are incredibly risky. You, you basically have to das and hope that you get that uh, flip. Otherwise, you're really, really putting yourself in a rough situation. And I think that's the smarter play for Perula, just going for uh, lowering the board elevation and not having to go for that risky das clear. And uh, now down to 34 viruses and Perula continuing to chip away here. Uh, and Luke almost at the bottom of his board. Mm -hmm, but uh, Perula honestly not far behind and finding really good moves given her situation. Um, if, if you're paying attention to her board uh, closely enough, you can you can really start to see some of the micro adjustions she's making based on the pills that she's getting to make sure that she does not let up on those combos. She knows that if she gives Luke any sort of runway to, to make it to the Zen game, that she's, it's probably going to be insurmountable. So she's doing a really good job of keeping up that pressure. Absolutely, and we're getting a nice drop cross there, and another Luke's now starting to really uh, pile on the combos. Uh, that column one's rough, though, and uh, looks like he's going to elect to just stack more garbage down. And, ooh, uh, that was a big quad by Perula, absolutely handcuffing Luke there, but Luke's going to find a way to drop the garbage down, and this is a big drop. While there's mm. going to be more garbage, so opening up that column one and two huge at this juncture. Absolutely, that is that was a huge, Luke really needed that. The scariest thing about his board uh, was column one. If he had let that fester any longer, that could have been uh, that could have been the end of the game here, but he was able to take it down, get a combo in the process, and uh, he's enjoying a small lead at this point, uh, still keeping up the combos, but Perula not far behind with combos of her own. Uh, she does have some really nasty looking spires here in some of these columns. Uh, she's doing her best to bring these down. She's going to get a triple, and uh, at the same time, opening up columns column four. I believe there's going to be a little drop here in column three as well. And things are starting to even out now. Um, so hopefully she can start to really pick up her combo. She's definitely has a lot of opportunities and setups here. 
Yeah, Luke's gonna have to address that right side of the board. It's looking really rough. Uh, but I'm also seeing him make very aggressive, uh, just straight clears. Earlier, he just took a double blue, just took blues, two blues off the board. But uh, he's really gonna have to go right to left here, as he is just in a uh, rough spot. Oh, I like this combo. Boom, that's gonna get a uh, triple, but it's gonna clear some uh, pill fragments for Perula. Perula is uh, looking for, or rather, Luke here is looking for a clear. He's going to get one clear. He's down to 11, but Lev Perula's caught right back up, down to 15. Absolutely. I think this is a really key point in the match right now. She has a window here where Luke is basically buried under garbage, and if she can keep up the combos and keep up the pressure, uh, it's not going to be possible for him to recover from it as long as she can keep finding setups and knocking them down. That's going to be the key here. Mm-hmm. And Luke is Luke has really just nothing in the way of combos right now. This this garbage stack is just really starting to slow him down. And we saw this from Perula last game. Left is Perula really thrives in these end game sort of situations, just absolutely putting the pressure on uh, her opponent as she just starts to clear things off the board. While it is rough on that right side of the board, uh, double blue here is huge. Uh, although that's going to be a little bit soured by that garbage drop. But uh, Perula can still uh, drop some combos here and take some more time for Luke to basically hurry up and wait as uh, it is 7 to 10 here. Luke hasn't really been doing much in the way of virus clearing because he's just been so stacked up by this combo attack. Mm -hmm. Honestly, th at this point, uh, Luke is spending a lot of dangerous time at the top of the board, but it is going to give him awesome combo potential here. And uh, if things, uh, if he can, can continue to do that, um, this is oh, where combo no. garbage is at its most devastating uh, in the end game for Perula. So, uh, so again, five to ten in virus count, board health firmly in Perula's corner, but definitely not over yet. Luke, uh, if he can find something here, he uh, he can come back and steal this away. Yeah, you've, you've got to chip away at combos here, and there are setups available for Luke, but uh, Perula is really looking to start just kind of going uh, and taking care of these spires, but again, the underclear uh, the underclears are helpful, uh, but it's probably going to be forced horizontals all the way for uh, the rest of this match, or at least this round for Perula, and uh, Perula down to her final two. Luke down to his final 10 here. Let's see if Luke can come out and uh, have a strong comeback here as uh, Perula now focusing on combos. And I think at this point, you've just got to focus on, not necessarily focus on combos, but just focus on getting the board cleared out and uh, seeing if you can get that win, especially when you have an eight virus advantage and the garbage is stacked so high on Luke's side. Let him make those combos and just try to focus on your own board. Mm -hmm. This this end game though is going to be very tricky for her. Um, she does have access to clear this red now, but once she does, it's very much up in the air how this yellow is going to be taken out from underneath. So I think she's hesitating on that for the moment. She's trying to see if she can do it in such a way where she'll be able to quickly clear this yellow after. Because if she does it wrong and gets it buried, then that's going to give Luke a huge opportunity to come back. Mm -hmm. She's going to open it up, electing not yet to take it. She's still not taking it. I think she's still just trying to make sure she basically has the perfect setup to, to get this yellow underneath. Either that or she's just not quite sure how to handle it and does not want to make a mistake here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting situation here. I think, you know, especially with if, if Luke's raining that garbage down, you've, you've got to be aggressive on the clearing here. And uh, if this affords Luke time to come back, this is going to be an absolutely... Uh, critical, you know, I don't want to say mistake, but laps here. Um, but Luke's going to top out. I think that Luke. might have been the strategy. I think she might have just been comboing right. him out, comboing to death here, I and mean, she's going to bring the suit decider. Here we go. Death by a thousand combos. Here we go. Game five. It's sudden death here, essentially, and a uh, nice opening combo. Both players did the exact same thing, uh, and it's still a bit of a virus advantage for Luke, but Luke's going to get a tuck combo. He's going to start comboing here. He's going to try to be aggressive with these clears. Four pieces of garbage coming down on his side. Perula is going to get another combo as well. Perula would love a double yellow here just to kind of open up the board here in the center. Oh, she will take it. It doesn't actually disrupt her setup. That was incredible. This, unfortunately, will. But uh, honestly, even then, she'll just clear it out off the top and she'll get some garbage in. She's looking very strong in the start of this game five. This is a really good look for Perula here. 
Peru is really just getting combos on combos here as well. Uh, nothing really going in the center columns to handcuff Luke too terribly much here. Uh, Luke's combos are getting a little bit hampered, but we're going to get a nice triple here as that red drops down. And let's see where this goes. Oh, that blue in column four could be. Oh, she got turned under attack. Did she be. miss drop? That might be it. That might be it. And with. Wow. Oh, just getting that combo <laughs> to just save her life here. But here comes Luke with another blue piece, uh, or red piece, and that's going to drop everything down. But, oh, that got very critical for a second. Just oh. absolute survival mode by Perula. Yep, she luckily has managed to recover. She did not lose her cool there, but uh, she's definitely lost the lead she had built up, and now it's really anyone's game. It's it's equal board health, equal virus count. Uh, Luke may be in a bit of a better situation. He does... Uh, have that uh, those columns one two a little bit lower so if he wants to start addressing uh, horizontal combos easier he, that's definitely a big advantage for him but here comes Perula Perula looking for combos gonna get an L yeah or rather a sweet T but here comes a quad combo as well or rather a triple so that red gonna be disrupting here so that's gonna force Luke to have to try to get oh, these horizontal oh wow she's getting so much garbage down. here Oh, this is really dangerous for Luke now, and if Perula can just keep finding combos, uh, he looks like he's going to drop the column down, uh, but column four still looking dangerous. Both players pretty much at the same height on the board, neither player finding a combo. Perula is now going to find two doubles in a row, and it's going to fall in the center for Luke. This is really bad. He is going to clear it down and get a double in the process, but Perula is not letting up. She can taste it. She can taste the win, and she's going for it. I think, I think with her top-out strat in the earlier uh, game, she definitely wants to put this away now. Uh, and she's definitely lowering that stack. She's putting Luke in a very dire situation. Board health definitely an advantage now for Perula. As Perula's starting to open up the board here, getting some more combos. It is and, and really focusing just that middle section. Uh, if, you're, if you get that double clear, they can go anywhere. But if you get that triple, you, again, you're definitely... Uh, gonna be putting things in the center column, which is where you can do the most damage in a versus game here. Here comes another double combo for uh, Perula, and Perula's setting some things up nicely here. There's another double, gonna disrupt that column two a little bit, but here comes some drops, and another tuck combo there as Luke now on the attack. Absolutely. Both players not really having any access to garbage, but I think I would have to give the edge to Perula here. Luke is just a little further up the board, uh, and uh, he's going to have to find a way out of it. He is going to find a really nice triple, but I, I think that it's hard to see. We don't have the ability to see the exact speed each player is at, but just eyeballing it, it looks like Luke might uh, have been spent a little more time at the top of the screen. I think he's a little further ahead in terms of his uh, falling speed, and that could make the difference here. Yeah, the gravity is definitely going to be a factor. If these two continue at this rate and don't really go down the board, the speed will be the killer here, as it is 25 to 22. Slight advantage to Perula. Perula is going to do a drill drill triple, rather, and she's going to have three coming her way. That column three looking a little dicey, but four and five at a decent elevation. Going to drop down a triple stack and getting a sweet tee right in the middle of her board. And, ooh, risky dash play, but gets it done. 22 to 23 here. Both of these players, at one point or another, are spending so much time at the top of the board. This is incredible. One perfect piece of garbage could could be what decides this game. But Perula now, and looking very, uh, very much healthy, uh, making her way down the board here, finally getting away from the top. Uh, you know, knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it, but I think she's finally... Uh, at least halfway here uh, down the board, and hopefully she can get to her endgame soon, barring any sort of uh, effective garbage here from Luke. Yeah, I mean, while there's a lot of garbage on both sides, Perula's keeping it to the sides of the board and uh, not really anything in the middle to worry about, and we're going to get an almost... I thought that was a triple. It's a double here, and Luke's column eight is pretty much just spoken for by garbage, so... Luke's going to have to come up with some sort of plan here. Maybe start thinking about horizontally clearing viruses off the board. Uh, he's going to have to prioritize uh, just keeping the column four and five low here as Perula is just strong on the combo game. 
has been so back and forth between these two things uh, in terms of board health. Final evening out again. Uh, neither player can hold on to an advantage. As soon as one player starts to pull ahead, the other one pulls them right back. And this is an excellent game five so far, and I cannot wait to see uh, who is able to take this. Luke, Luke, was, Luke 4 went to triple uh, with that blue-yellow. He could have absolutely just drilled three more uh, pieces of garbage onto Perula's board. Perula uh, is still behind in virus count, but with this is going to take the virus lead. So Perula overall in the lead right now uh, has a pretty good situation. Oh, that is going to top out. Out of nowhere, and... that's going to be Perula taking it three to two. I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> that was incredible. That was the reverse sweep from Perulo. That what an amazing yeah. comeback! She's going to eliminate Luke and uh, move on to the next round. Wow, that was an amazing. Abs absolutely phenomenal match from Perulo. Perulo will advance to losers bracket round five and take on Betty B, uh, which we'll see, I believe, a little later. Absolutely, and we are going to take a short break to get it before we get into the next match. Uh, we will see you in a moment. Stay tuned.